French President Emmanuel Macron has made a fresh call for Iran to immediately release French-Iranian researcher Fariba Adelka. In a tweet marking the one-year anniversary of her arrest this Friday, Emmanuel Macron said, and I quote, it is unacceptable that she is still in prison, end quote. Fariba Adelka was arrested at Tehran airport along with her partner, who has since been released, but she has been given a five-year jail term for threatening Iranian state security. She, however, has maintained that she is innocent on all charges. Well, for more on this story, we are joined by our international affairs editor, Philip Till. Philip, thank you very much for joining us uh, live on the program. How much of a strain is this putting on Franco-Iranian relations? Well, let's say the relations between the two countries were not particularly good up until today, and this is not going to help uh, by improving them uh, with this current war of words going on between uh, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, who you were just quoting from, and also from the foreign minister, Jean-Yves Le Drian. He's issued uh, a statement saying that uh, he's calling for the immediate liberation of uh, Fariba Abdelkar, saying her detention will badly affect bilateral relations between uh, the two countries. Now, Iran uh, knows that um, France uh, is not having a particularly easy time either with Donald Trump, but it's using France as an indirect way of putting pressure on the Americans because it knows that America uh, will only act under pressure. America, as you know, has uh, pulled out of the Iranian nuclear agreement. Uh, it has put sanctions on Iran, and Iran is now beginning to suffer. So the Iranian authorities are using any means at their fingertips to try to uh, put pressure on the United States, even indirectly by stoking the pressure on allies like France. Now, uh, of course, uh, France is in the middle of all of this because uh, although America has pulled out of the nuclear agreement, France and other EU countries have not. And they have made it patently clear that they regret the US decision and they would like it to rejoin that nuclear accord. So France is really in the middle of this fight between Iran on one side and the United States on the other. And uh, in the middle of it with them is uh, Farida Abdelkar. Now, uh, Farida Abdelkar uh, was in Iran. She's a Franco-Iranian uh, researcher. She went to the country uh, this day last year and was arrested at the airport along with her uh, companion, uh, Roland Marshall, who has since uh, been freed. He's been talking about the difficult conditions that they were kept in, that he was kept in, saying that they were interrogated uh, in a very aggressive manner. Uh, she has also undertaken a hunger strike earlier this year for 49 days, uh, and uh, her health were badly suffered as a result of that. She's given that up now. But it looks as though the situation is not any time soon going to uh, uh, find a way out of the, 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 the current standoff between uh, Iran and France over this. The only way out of it, of course, is for a prisoner exchange, uh, which is what happened to uh, Roland Marshall. He was exchanged uh, for the release of an Iranian engineer who was wanted in the United States, but France decided to set him free in exchange for Roland Marshall being uh, liberated from the Iranian jail where he was being held. But of course, uh, Philip Fariba Abdel Akar is not the only foreign detainee in Iranian jails. Uh, what do you think is the reason for these arbitrary arrests of foreign nationals by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard? Well, Simon, there, there are a series of, of reasons uh, for uh, these arbitrary arrests of uh, uh, intellectuals, uh, researchers, uh, when they come uh, to Iran. Uh, they're being seen as a bargaining chip uh, uh, that could lead to the liberation of Iranian prisoners ar around the world. Uh, that is one reason. Uh, also, to warn off any attempt by uh, foreign nationals to cause trouble uh, in Iran, saying, you know, if you come to the country and we know you're going to cause trouble, you will end up being detained and put in jail, whether or not uh, you have the intention of causing trouble or not. That is a risk that you will face. Um, and I think also it is a way uh, it's a rather a paradox here, a paradoxical uh, thing to say, but it's a way of maintaining diplomatic relations uh, with both France and the United States by uh, there being some kind of bilateral exchange, if you like, in the prisoner swap, even though there are no other uh, bilateral relations between uh, the United States and Iran at the moment. Uh, Donald Trump did send 
uh, a tweet last night when an American was freed from an Iranian jail. His name is Michael White. He's a former U.S. Marine. He was freed in exchange for an Iranian scientist. So in a way, although this is a standoff, it is still showing that there is some kind of exchange going on between the two countries, even though a lot of people who are being held in Iranian jails for no reason are suffering as a result of it. France 24's uh, Philip Zilla, international affairs editor. Thank you very much for that analysis, Philip. Thank you. Well, news that is 